Hey, despite my better judgment, I'm going to attempt to take a ride on the number four freight elevator at the Nanuet Mall. Soon to not be the Nanuet Mall. It uh, is pretty much an automatic operation. It's got an in-use indicator. You can call for it if it's not here. It, it is here. So we're just going to go ahead and open the door. Watch the gate. It's pretty sweet. Okay, now this might be a jerky ride because the last time I was here, if I'm not mistaken, this thing was cavitating pretty badly. So, against my better judgment, I'm going to ride it. But first we're going to take a close look at some of the graffiti that has made its way into here. Uh, some of it is a little obscene as you can tell. Uh, actually most of it is pretty obscene. Uh, and on this side though, I just noticed a Pacific Sunwear tag, which I thought was pretty cool because I used to work there. What does this one say? Free Ellis. I wonder who that is. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Well, I am feeling lucky, which is why I'm going to ride this. This is a Montgomery. Okay. And we're going to ride it to the first floor. It's Class A. Oh, excuse me. Yes, it is Class A. Uh, not passenger elevator. Yada, yada, yada. Let's see what we got. Light, work light, inspection. Service is two floors. There is an emergency door stop in case something goes wrong. Let's see if there's actually an emergency phone. I like the zip tie. There is an ADA compliant emergency phone, so hopefully if we get stuck, someone will answer it. Actually, let's just take a quick look over here at the interlock system, because this is actually kind of nifty. You can actually see the, that's the blade of the hoistway door lock, which I believe attaches with uh, one of the components down there. And over here, you'll see the actual electrical portions of it. And these, uh, as soon as it gets focused here, I'm pretty sure oops. I'm pretty sure this is the actual uh, electrical component there. I'm not gonna mess with it. And we're just gonna go ahead and take a ride on it and uh, hopefully we are feeling lucky today. Punk when it takes us there safely. So we're gonna close the door. Stand back. Okay, it's sealed up. And we're going to take it to the first floor. Wish me luck. Okay, we'll stand back and watch it go. I probably put that Pacific Sunrise sticker there years ago. <laughs> it's actually a much smoother ride on the way down. Thankfully. Actually, you can hear it right there. Since I am not feeling lucky to ride it up, I'm just going to go ahead and close it. And that'll be the end of that ride. Thank you, Nanyo and all, for many fun memories. Well, here's a special treat. The elevator motor room for the elevator that we just rode is actually open. Let's we'll step inside, and we'll take a quick peek around. Okay. We got rags. Actually, there's a steel wheel back here. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Let's see what's going on. I don't want to pull this off, but it looks like we got some terminal strips and some relays back there. Got a high voltage transformer. I wonder if this opens. <gasps> it does. All right, cool. This is the Montgomery elevator controller. Let's get a quick look at this. First, we will uh, read this off. All right, just says Uniprom. Not familiar with that. Okay, let's see what we got in here. It's a lot simpler than a lot of the passenger elevators that you'd expect to see. I noticed there's a little dangling wire jumper here, which makes me wonder if uh, some elevator technician's been naughty. Notice the very strong bonding. And let's see, get a quick shot of the terminal strip. Get a quick still. And I'm going to seal this back up so that nobody gets in trouble. Ooh, terminal map, that's pretty cool. Let's get a shot of this. Okay, and we'll seal it back up. Oh. 
Warning, more than one live circuit, see diagram. I wonder what that means. Well, good thing we were messing around with it, huh? The nurse's drug guide back here. Somebody's been partying. Ooh, what's inside this locked cabinet with the keys? Ooh, is that an old motor generator? What is that? Yeah, or maybe a DC motor of some kind? Maybe like for a worm gear? I don't know. Anyway, uh, anyway, this is the reservoir and the oil pump. This is a hydraulic elevator. And I'm not really sure what else to really say here. Alright, well, thanks for joining.